So we are an online parking app, we're a mobile parking app, and we are generally available for private parkers or event parkers. Um, we are launching, uh, hopefully next week, our launch party actually is tonight. Exciting. And uh, we are hoping to, you know, take our concept and really run with it. We feel like we have a pretty thorough process for getting people to private parking spaces and removing all of the guesswork um, that we feel several of our competitors uh, who reached the market before us didn't quite iron out. So I could give you an example. If you're driving into Boston and you're going to Back Bay, mm -hmm. and I, the example I will give you would be my example. I used mm -hmm. to get my hair done at Newbury Street. And I used to drive around looking for parking, and you know, getting your hair done there is expensive, but mm -hmm. paying for parking can be actually a quarter of the cost, uh, depending on where you go. So I would drive around you know, looking for a space. I'd end up driving through the back alleyways and noticing that more than half of the spaces at any given time were, were empty, and thinking half the people driving through there are actually looking for parking spaces. Why not make use of those? Okay. Um, so I have an economics degree, so I'm always thinking of, you know, equilibrium. Really How do we create equilibrium here? So um, I used to have a, my hair guy used to go out, he put quarters in my meter when, mm -hmm. when the meter expired. But the city of Boston changed their rules on January 3rd of 2017. They quadrupled the parking meter rates in that area, and they also timed all of the um, blocks for two hours. So for example, if you're on the block and your meter expires, after that term, it doesn't matter if you fill the meter again, you still have to move your car. Otherwise, you even if you have money, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you, you're going to get a ticket. So in any case, then uh, this July, they increased the ticket fines. So a regular ticket goes from 25 to $40. Tow zone goes from 50 to 90 and so on and so forth. So parking is getting squeezed really mm -hmm. tight. Not to mention, uh, there are very few players now in the commercial parking market, and you know they have not quite a monopoly, but they do do some price fixing, mm -hmm. as would be evident if you look at any of the garage prices and you know when they time out. So we're actually we're targeting them. Mm -hmm. um, we're not targeting the municipalities per se, but there really is just there's a real squeeze on parking right now, so we're hoping to kind of help that. Interesting.